this problem, we know line x, that's right here, is parallel to line y. We know line z is a transversal. That's a line that cuts across other lines. Let me fix that. So line z is right here. What do they want to know? Which angles are alternate interior angles? Okay, so again, alternate interior angles. Well, the transversal has two sides. In this case, uh, a top, and, a, and the other side is a bottom. So it has two sides. So here's the top side of the transversal, right? If you keep extending that transversal, it cuts this whole page into, into pieces, so we have a top and a bottom. So in order for us to have alternate interior angles, whatever choices we have have to be um, both on top and bottom. They have to alternate. Also, here's the interior, right, inside the two parallel lines. So whatever choices we have have to be on different sides of our transversal. They have to alternate, and they have to be on the inside of our parallel lines. So let's look at our choices. 1 and 7. Without thinking, I know that well, 1 is on the outside. That's an exterior angle, so that choice is out. 3 and 7. Possibly, right? Um, they're both on the inside of the two parallel lines, and they're on all different sides of the transversal. So I'm going to circle that because I think that's all we need to prove that we have alternate interior angles, right? 3 and 7. There are one, three is on the top of the transversal, seven's on the bottom. They're both on the inside of the parallel lines, so that's okay. Two and three, well, two and three are both on the same side as the transversal. They don't alternate. Four and eight, well, those are two alternate exterior angles, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the interior angles. So again, the choice I would take here is B, angles three and seven. All right, hope that helped.